Alright, so before I even say anything about the show, I know a few of you have some questions. Is this play any good? Is it worth the high prices? And of course, why did you see it? I mean, isn't this just some fun play meant for like 5 year olds? I will admit that I was pretty unsure when it came to getting tickets for this, because as much as I appreciate the show, I really didn't think this was for me. As from all of the previews and trailers, it just appeared kind of... generic? As there really wasn't too many hints of anything that crazy, and it just looked like a recap of existing episodes but now live on stage. On top of that, I would also be lying if I said that I wouldn't feel super weird going by myself, because I'm still relatively young, but I'm not like 5, 7, or even 9 years old. So when I saw that the play was coming to an area I can actually get to, I was a little interested, but I was having second thoughts. However, I didn't have to think for long, because my grandma, of all people, heard I liked the show, and gave me tickets to go see it. I'm not even joking. In fact, I didn't even ask or anything, she just gave them to me. And on top of that, she also got the rest of my family to go, so if anyone asked, I could just pull the good old, well it's actually for my brother, not me trick, even though he wasn't the one wearing the big bluey cap, but I digress. So if you're wondering why this guy bought tickets to see a children's show all by himself, it's basically because I kind of didn't, but with that said, I didn't have the highest expectations coming in, as I've never really been to a show like this before, or any live show for that matter, and I wasn't expecting much, because I just assumed that the characters would go on stage, do some funny stuff, play some games, and that's it. But of course, in true Bluey fashion, it was... actually good? Hard to believe if you haven't seen the show, I know. But I actually enjoyed it quite a lot, as despite being in a different medium, it's a solid adaptation of the show, including everything people love about Bluey, but in a way that's engaging, lively, and immersive for the big stage. As the show does of course use puppets and mainly flat sets, but it's done so well you kind of forget it's actually a live show. Because despite having tons of people to control them, the action and story is so engaging that you just kind of forget the characters are being controlled by these people literally right behind them. And speaking of the story, it's actually pretty solid, even by show standards. As the story does make a lot of references to existing episodes, albeit in a way that's pretty fun and creative, but it ties them all together with an original story, which without spoilers, I have to admit was lots of fun, engaging, and dare I say, even emotional. As the ending was pretty short, but very heartwarming, as any good Bluey episode would be. And I'm not sure if this happens at every location, but after the end, there were some crazy things that involved the audience, but I won't spoil them, so you can be surprised for yourself. Also, I feel comfortable saying this because it's already been revealed in the previews and stuff. But yeah, everyone's favorite Labrador, Pat, does make an appearance. Let's go! Of course, he's not a main character because the main character is, well, the character in the title. But he actually does have a decent role and quite a few speaking lines. And maybe it's just because we don't hear him talk too often? But I almost swore they used a different voice actor for him. But that could just be me. However, if being the fifth character in a show of five, where the other four are main characters and nobody else was able to make it in, isn't a sign of dominance, I don't know what is. Also, for those who are curious, they do have a place for merch and stuff, but be prepared to bring some money because it is not cheap at all. Alright, so just to prove my point, here's a couple pieces of merch I got from the little merch booth at the show, and I want you all to take a guess on how much all of this costs. 
well, I don't know what you put, but you're probably wrong because this all right here cost me $80. Yeah, I told you it wasn't going to be cheap. Also, here's the shirt up close and yeah, the quality isn't the best, especially for how much you're paying, but it's something, I guess. Also, Chattermax literally turned the whole show and audience into a rave, which admittedly was actually awesome. Ah! Also, this isn't really related to the actual show, but I actually got to meet fellow creator Ben Tendo in person, who was also seeing the show that day with a friend, which is something I never thought would happen. In fact, he's also making a video about his views on the play, featuring me. So make sure to check out his videos as well, at least when it comes out. And with that, I honestly have nothing bad to say at all. The story was great, the work by the puppeteers was phenomenal, and the usage of the show's iconic soundtrack was heaven, especially on the gigantic speakers playing throughout the theater. In fact, they even had a few special effects, which was pretty cool. And overall, I feel like there's actually something for everyone in this show. There's lots of activity and fun moments for the kids, of course, but also a really relatable and surprisingly deep story for the parents and adults watching. In fact, because of the free tickets, my parents actually came with me. People who have only watched a handful of episodes and know nearly nothing about Bluey, and yet even they thought it was great. As in the eloquent words of my wise stepfather, I didn't fall asleep watching this, which is something he tends to do, so that's pretty high praise if you ask me. But with that said, what do you think about Bluey's big play? I'm sorry, but I still can't get over that name. It's such a fitting but fun title. But in my opinion, I personally thought it was great, and way better than it had any right to be. And I not only recommend seeing it, but bring in the whole family if you can, as it provides something new for existing fans, but something newcomers can easily understand and get into. Plus, if you're a grown adult or even teenager going by themselves, I can't promise you won't get any strange looks. That's not me trying to be a hater or anything, that's just kind of the way things are. So yeah, bring a friend or bring the whole family. Because this show is surprisingly good and an absolute blast for anyone who's willing to see it. But with that, leave me with your thoughts down below. And until next time, BMB Productions will be signing out. Have a nice day everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this short but kind of interesting video. Goodbye everyone, and have a nice day.